In the previous lecture, we have understand how to extract the mid surface of a part. And in this lecture, we are going to continue with this. After we extract the mid surface or we have our surface for the meshing, we need to simplify the surface. Simplifying or we can say defeaturing. Now we need to understand why defeaturing is important and what are different or multiple ways of defeaturing. To understand this, I will go to file in your project file, go to defeature and go to clip defeature. So in this file, a mid surface has already been generated. Go to components. You will see middle surface. I will make a right click, go to isolate only. And here we need to change the color. Let's say this is blue. Okay. I will take this as purple. It is much better. Or we can take some simple color which is visible more properly. Okay, now this. Okay, I will take this color. Now let's zoom in here. On to this part. Here you will see. In this part you will see very small fillets. So if you go to F4, press F4, go to the point, make sure this is checked. Select the first point, select the second point. You can see. This fillet is of width 0.7, somewhere close to 0.7. Similarly here. So it is a very small fillet. And these two small fillets are also very close to each other. So when you do the meshing of this kind of fillet part, the meshing will be very fine. It means very the element will be very small. So that is something we don't want. Also, if you take a look at here in some other part as well, for example, you will see some small fillets. These are very small, which can be neglected according to the part requirement. Also, you will have some small holes. So you can see these type of hole are not bolt holes. These are basically small pin holes, which are generally not needed during the analysis. So for these types of part, we can use the defeature option and we can remove all these small fillets which we don't need. Okay, so to do this, we have some options in hypermesh. We go to, if we go to defeature option in this geometry panel. So we have option like removing the pinhole, fillet surface, edge fillet, duplicate, symmetry, etc. So now let's try with this pinholes. So in this pin holes, we need to select the surface and here we need to select the diameter. So first of all, we need to check the diameter here. To check the diameter, press F8 from the keyboard. F8. Go to this option. Okay, first of all, we need to create some nodes. So here, go to this extract parametric. Here, go to line. So let's say number of node I want 4, click on this line, create. Okay, not 4, click on reject. I will take this as 5, create. Now you will see it has created opposite nodes. So distance between these nodes will be diameter. So press F4, go to nodes, first node, second node. So you can see the diameter is 2 mm. So let's say I will take this value 2.1. Okay, just click on displayed and click on find. So it is find you can see these four pin holes. It is highlighting this as a P. So any hole having diameter less than 2.1 will be deleted or rejected. Also click on find and click on delete. Okay, now press return. You will see the pin holes has been deleted. Similarly, if we go to the uh, D feature surface fillet. So fillet means these small fillets. So in this fillets, one option is we can select these fillets using the lines. Another is using the surface. So in this surface, we need to select a range for the fillet. Let's say range is 0 0.5 radius up to 2. Because we need to remove only the small fillet. So click on the surface, displayed and find. It is fine that these fillets are very small. So we can remove them. So click on remove. 
so if you don't want some fillets to be removed you can make a uncheck on this so take the mouse onto the fillet just make a right click it will not be deleted or we can click once again remove so here you can see it has removed the fillets and there is a sharp edge similar thing we can do here is let's say okay let's see here is a very small fillet this is basically an edge fillet so on edge fillet the mesh will not be proper to avoid this type of problem we can remove the edge fillet go to edge fillet so we need to insert some parameters so let's say okay let's say this is between 1 to maximum is 5 okay so click on surface displayed let's see what it find so it has find this one and it has find this one okay so that depend upon our requirement so here okay now so most of the fillets are proper click on remove now you can see it has created a sharp edge around there similarly if we have duplicate surfaces we can remove that click on return so in this way we can simplify our geometry for the meshing now you might be wondering why there is need of this simplifying okay so now let's say uh, i will open one more hyper mesh here so i will save this part let's this as a clip mid surface underscore one because this is our d featured part save i'm on the another hyper mesh i'm going to open our original part so this is the original part i will go to mid surface right click isolate only now let's say i will do the mesh here go to 2d auto mesh element size let's say here is one here click on surface displayed and mesh okay so now you can see around the fillet this problem with the meshing you can see the mesh flow is not proper also around these edges the mesh flow is once again not proper similarly if you take a look at all these fillets in some fillets the mesh is good but in some fillet the mesh is not and also here you can see around this edge the mesh is highly distorted this is something we don't want and now let's do that mesh on the defeatured part so this is our defeatured part i will go to 2d auto mesh mesh size let's say one surface displayed mesh and here you can see how beautiful is the mesh flow so a good mesh flow is very important in the meshing if the mesh flow is not good then the analysis result will not be proper okay so in the next lecture we are going to learn about different options in auto mesh command